we're back to talk about kites. I know that we went a little bit out of order and that's okay, but we're gonna end with talking about kites. So a kite has nothing that's parallel. So it's not a parallelogram. There's no sides that are parallel. So if we kind of recap, we talked about parallelograms. We talked about rhombus, rectangles, and squares, which are all parallelograms. They follow parallelogram properties. We talked about trapezoids and isosceles trapezoids, which have one set of sides parallel. So parallelograms have two sets of opposite sides. So like both sets are parallel. Trapezoids, just one, and a kite is zero. A kite has nothing that's parallel. Now, the trick to remembering a kite is remembering it's symmetrical. So if I kind of go through these, we're going to see that here in just a second. So with a kite, the consecutive sides are congruent, meaning that the sides next to each other are congruent. So I could put ticks on there. And then one pair of opposite angles is congruent. So these angles are not congruent, but these angles are. So there's one set of opposite angles that's congruent. If I draw in these diagonals, they're going to be perpendicular, which is similar to like the rhombus and the square had 90 in the center. So like rhombus, square, kite all have perpendicular diagonals. And then one of the diagonals is bisected. So one diagonal is cut in half. So if I look at it, if I ask myself, is this the diagonal that was cut in half? Do those look like they're the same? No. Well, it's this diagonal that's cut in half. So I'm going to put some ticks on there. And then one pair of opposite angles is bisected. So while these angles were congruent, the other ones are going to be bisected. And so like I said, the key trick to remembering is that a kite is just symmetrical. So I'm gonna put some numbers on here and then a lot of these numbers, we're just gonna be able to copy and paste over. And that's kind of nice. So I added some numbers to my picture, and now because I know that a kite is symmetrical, we're going to see which numbers can we copy and paste over, and then I'm going to have a little bit of work to do to figure out the rest of it. So this diagonal right here, well, if I match it, 10 would go with 10. This piece is 8, so that makes that piece right there 8. Now the opposite rule doesn't apply. It's like because this is 40, that doesn't make that side 40. It's symmetrical now. So if this is 40, then that piece would be 40 degrees. And then I just have this piece, so that's 17. And then I see 20, I can copy and paste 20 over. So a lot of the kite I'm able to find simply with copy paste, and then the rest of it now I'm gonna have to start thinking. So a kite is full of these right triangles here. And so if you remember some of our triples, we've talked about those in some previous videos. So it's 3, 4, 5, 5, 12, 13, 8, 15, 17, 7, 24, 25. Well, I noticed 8 and 10, which if I split that in half, that would be 4 and 5. So this is a 3, 4, 5 just times 2. So I'm missing the 3, so that would make this piece right here 6. We could also do Pythagorean theorem. I could do a squared plus eight squared plus 10 squared or equals 10 squared, my bad. And I could do a squared plus b squared equals c squared, work backwards to find that missing leg and I'm still gonna get six. So I could just do like 10 squared minus six or minus eight squared and it's gonna give me six squared. Um, but now I need to find this piece over here. So I see eight and 17, that goes back to that song again. Three, four, five, five, 12, 13, eight, 15. So I would make this piece right here, 15. So now I found all of the sides, all the edges and the diagonals. Notice eight and eight, six and 15. We knew that they weren't gonna be the same. But now I wanna find these missing angles. Well, it goes back to triangle rules. If this is a triangle right here and I have 90 degrees, 180 minus 90 is 90, and then 90 minus 40, well then that would make this piece over here 50, and then I can copy and paste the 50 over. So just remember, a triangle adds up to 180. If I know that piece is 40 and that's 90, that can help me figure out 50, and then I can copy and paste 50 over. I can do the same thing over here. So 180 minus 90 is 90, and then just those two acute angles will always be complementary. They'll always add up to 90. So 90 minus 20 makes that 70, and then I can copy and paste that over. So this full angle ended up being 100, this full angle ended up being 40, and then 70 and 40 made that 110 and 110.
And if you add them all up, remember that our four angles in a quadrilateral add up to 360. So that's the kite rule. As long as I can remember that the kite is cut in half, it's symmetrical. A big part of what we're going to look at is do we have the half or do we have the whole and then going from there. You've seen right triangles before. So you can do Pythagorean theorem. You could find those missing right triangle values. You can figure out those angles by adding and subtracting from 180. But the half and the whole thing can get a little bit confusing. So let's take a look at the notes, taking a look at some of these kite examples. Remember, we're not going to fill this out because that's on your blue paper or your colored paper that you have. So let's take a look. It says if angle KIT is 82, so this whole angle right here is 82 degrees. Find the measure of angle 8. Well, that symmetrical thing can come back and help me. I just need to first figure out, is my kite symmetrical along KT or is it symmetrical along IE? And if you said IE, you're right. So when it talks about angle KIT being 82 degrees, that's the whole. Angle 8 is just the half. So ask yourself, what's half of 82 degrees or what's 82 divided by 2? And that would just be 41. So I had the whole and I wanted the half. Now looking down, the next one says K to T is 34. So that's the whole. Find K to S, which is the half. So ask yourself, what's half of 34? And that would be 17, 34 divided by 2. So it's really helpful to have this picture here, and it kind of goes the opposite way as well. So like if I know the S to T is 10, well then what's the full? That would be 20, because if this piece is 10, then that piece is 10. 10 and 10 makes 20. So it goes, if you have the half, you could figure out the whole as well. So the next one says angle I, K, E. So this whole angle, angle K, is 110. Well, according to symmetry, remember that, that's not cut in half. It's this is my line of symmetry. So if this is 110 on angle K, I could copy and paste 110 over on angle T. Now, I can't figure out what 1 and 2 or 6 and 5 are, but if I know that this full side, that full angle is 110 degrees, I can copy and paste that over, and that would be 110 degrees. So what's angle ITE? Well, ITE, copy and paste it, is 110 degrees. And if I look down, so angle 3 is 35. We're just powering through these problems over here. Well, if angle 3 is 35, that's the half. Well, then I know angle 4 is 35. And if I wanted to, I could find angle 2 because I know that that's 90 and I know that I have a triangle. But the problem asks me for angle KET, which is the full. Well, 35 and 35 makes that 70 degrees. That's it. So like I said, on that one, I could find more because I know that a triangle adds up to 180, so I could add and subtract from 180, but I didn't need to. So this next one only gives us one piece of information, and that's about angle 10. Well, if we remember about a kite, all of these angles in here are all 90 degrees. So these were all perpendicular. They're all going to be 90. You can draw one big box, or you can just draw one little one. So if I know that angle 10 is 6x minus 6, well, that's where 90 is. So 6x minus 6 would equal 90. And then I'm just going to solve for x. So if I add 6 to both sides, I get 6x equals 96. Divide both sides by 6, x would equal 16. And that's it. And I knew that it equaled 90 just because of the location, because all these angles in here are 90. Now, let's pretend that this piece right here was 5x, and this piece right here was 2x plus 35. Well, then that would be part equals part, because the only thing I know about those pieces is that they're the same. So I really need to look at the picture and figure out, does it equal a number? Does it equal another part? Is it part equals part? Is it a half or is it a whole? And go from there. So keeping that in mind on the next one, it tells me that k to s is 3x plus 1. And I know that k to t, so I know the whole, is 8x minus 18. Okay, well, it can't be part equals part because this is the half and this is the whole. 
So if I think about it, well, if this is the half, if k to s is 3x plus 1, well, then s to t should also be 3x plus 1. And then this becomes a part plus part equals whole problem. So 3x plus 1 and 3x plus 1 would make that 6x plus 2 equals 8x minus 18. I needed that picture to figure out that these parts were the same, so part plus part equals whole. So from there, if I put the letter on the left, I'm going to get some negatives, and that's okay. So if I subtract 8x, and you could subtract 6x, and you have positives, but if I subtract 8x, 6 minus 8 would be negative 2x plus 2 equals negative 18. Now I'm going to subtract the 2 from both sides, so negative 2x equals negative 20. And then divide, a negative divided by a negative makes that x equals positive 10. And then that's it. Now, if it had said find all the values, I'd have to go plug it back in. So 3 times 10 is 30, plus 1 would be 31, and 31. 8 times 10 would be 80 minus 16, minus 18. Oh, sorry. 8 times 10 is 80 minus 18, 62. 31 and 31 make 62. We didn't have to do that, but it is just really quick to just go and plug it back in and double check things, whether you do that mentally or with the calculator. So taking a look at this last one, it says angle KIT. Well, angle KIT is the whole. And the whole is 12x minus 8. So angle KIT, that whole x is 12x minus 8. I also know that angle 8, this piece is 3x plus 26. Well, they're not equal to each other. Half can equal a whole, but I do know that if this side is 3x plus 26, that that side is 3x plus 26 as well. So I'm going to give you a minute and think, how would we set this up now that we know that information? Well, if you take your two halves, you get 6x plus 52 equals the whole, which is 12x minus 8. And if I put the letter on the right side this time, now I have positive, so I'm going to do that. So 52 equals 6x minus 8. Add the 8, so 60 equals 6x. Divide both sides by 6, x would equal 10. Now, for this particular problem, it wants angle 7. So if I go back, well, angle 7 and angle 8 should be the same number because they were both 3x plus 26. So 3 times 10 would be 30 plus 26 would make that angle equal 56. And a quick way to check that would be to take 10 and plug it in here, and that should be 2 times 56. So that should be 112. Well, 120 minus 8 is 112. It works out. So that's it for kites. The key trick, there were a lot of rules with kites, but the key thing to remember about a kite is just remember that it's symmetrical and that you're either going to be given a half or a whole, or sometimes you'll have part equals part in there. And remember that kites are not parallelograms because they have zero pairs of parallel sides. That's it for quadrilaterals. Good luck with your practice.